What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in again. Appreciate all the wonderful new subscribers. You guys are awesome, man. I didn't even know that was going to happen. I looked at, I got up my morning and checked up my little stuff and seen this thing jump. Man, what, thank you for all the support. Thank you guys. I just really appreciate it. It's an honor. Um, dude, I put together this little collage of the, I guess you could call it, um, the beginning it shows the Border Patrol actually really doing their job. <laughs> They're protecting the border. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. So, and the rest of it, I think you'll be pretty entertained with it. And also, it just needs to get out. So share this stuff far and wide. You guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend. God is in control. The difficult challenges are uh, we have, at some point in time, they have to move to somewhere else, right? We, we cannot, we don't have the services to take care of 50 immigrants, um, and we, we certainly don't have housing. We're in a housing crisis as we are on this island, and so the, we don't, we can't house everyone here that lives here and works here. We don't have housing for 50 more people. We're just... Watching our uh, residents. That's it. Were you were you notified that they were coming? That these migrants would be showing up? I have no comment. Okay, so it shows here. Do you know where they where they need to go from here? Or are you just trying to make sure they stay away from the border? I, I have no comment. Yeah, just uh, uh, making sure that everybody's safe and away from our sites. Um, on what you call this political stunt with the asylum seekers, let's specifically get into the lo the locations. Martha's Vineyard, the Naval Observatory. Can you talk to the issue of, you said Boston. <laughs> it's an island that they sent mm -hmm. the asylum seekers to. An island that um, is known to be, in some instances, a democratic haven. Uh, former presidents, former democratic presidents, vacation there, own homes there, etc. Could you speak to that as well as the Naval Observatory? What I could say, and I've been very clear, uh, it is a political stunt. That's what we're seeing from governor, uh, governors, Republican governors in, in particular. And um, it is a cruel, inhumane way of treating uh, people who are fleeing communism, uh, people who are, who are uh, and we're not just talking about people, we're talking about children, we're talking about families uh, who are promised uh, a home, promised a job, put on a bus, and, uh, you know, driven to a place that they do not know. And it is a cruel thing to do. We are not a sanctuary state, and it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction. And yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. Biden would fly people in the middle of the night, dump them all across this country. There was no warning on any of this. And all those people in D.C. and New York were beating their chests when Trump was president, saying they were so proud to be sanctuary jurisdictions, saying how bad it was to have a secure border. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk and they're so upset that this is happening. And it just shows you, you know, their virtue signaling is a fraud. OK, they one of you you didn't have a doctor in your life making fun of it making light of it or telling you that you're not fit to be served yeah, can you describe uh, my stroke and what you know what's happened if so i i use the example so pretend i was i want to go to Wegmans, it's such the most important race for the Senate here for 22. We have to replace Pat Toomey. Oh, no. no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Senator Toomey was not very nice to me. He Pat Toomey is a miracle. He had a chance, he had a chance to match me up again. Abortion is the ballot now in November.